you were recently seen on TV um, as uh, being against the first man on the moon. How did that hearing come out? Um, I wouldn't say I'm against the first man on the moon. Uh, this was a hearing yesterday um, before the Senate Committee on Commerce, Science, and Transportation on the NASA budget. Uh, they are the authorizing committee uh, for the NASA budget. Uh, the president has proposed very substantial changes in what NASA is doing, including winding down parts of the space program that were focused on returning a U.S. astronaut to the surface of the moon uh, by 2020. Uh, it turned out, when we looked carefully at that program, that uh, notwithstanding its rapidly escalating cost to three and four times the original estimates, it was still not going to be able to land uh, U.S. astronauts on the surface of the moon until 2030 or later. To land them on the moon by 2025 would cost an extra $60 billion over the next 10 years. Uh, you still wouldn't meet the original goal. And uh, the president and his advisors, including me, made the decision that there are other destinations in deep space, destinations beyond low Earth orbit, that will enable us to do more science sooner with more missions, more visits, more exciting uh, discoveries than going back to the moon 50 years later. Uh, the astronauts who were there first, some of them, uh, have testified and testified yesterday against uh, the proposal. Uh, it's not real surprising that the American heroes who were the first people to set foot on the moon might think the most exciting thing we could possibly do now is to go back there, but not everybody agrees with them. Uh, and in fact, the second person to set foot on the moon, Buzz Aldrin, is a strong supporter of the President's program. And a large array of other astronauts, including Sally Ride, the first American woman in space, Mae Jemison, the first African American woman in space, John Grunsfeld, the Hubble repairman, who had five missions and 60 hours of spacewalks, including the spacewalk that fixed the Hubble, all are strong supporters of the President's program. I think we're getting some very bad press, frankly, because uh, huge attention in the press to the fact that uh, Neil Armstrong and Gene Cernan testified against uh, the President's proposal and, and uh, practically no attention at all to uh, the large number of astronauts who support it.